Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So as you can see, you have the iPhone 5 right here, and it is in fact running the iOS 7 Beta 6, which just got recently released. So um, again, there's not much going on here on the Beta 6 that was not present on the other Betas. What you get though is you get a lot of uh, stability and improvements, and a lot of fluidity. Again, the beginning of the Betas was very um, laggy. Now they're very fluid and it feels like the good old iOS with no lags and with uh, crystal clear operation okay so let's uh, take a look at some of the basic things on the iOS 7 so you've got the um, let's see the notifications center so here's your today screen so what's going on today that's what you're gonna see right here and if you go all the way to the bottom you get a quick glimpse of what's gonna happen tomorrow and if you swipe to all this is where you get notifications of all sorts so I have a weather notification an update notification from the App Store and I also have the dictionary updates so these were the word of the day notifications that I missed and then I have nothing missed right now nothing like a text message or a phone call that is usually gonna show up right here okay and then if you go into settings you can go into notifications and you can do a lot of adjustments here so you can disable what you want to be notified about uh, you can disable access to the notifications bar in the lock screen so you can kill those by tapping if you tap these two you're not going to be able to see notifications in the um, lock screen okay so it's gone if you have them on then you can see them in the lock screen as well and with the today's view so here's the today's view okay you can also customize what you will see and what you won't see so you can disable the stocks and now the stocks are gone okay and then you can disable the calendar view so now the calendar is gone let me see something see the, the, that calendar here disappears so you can customize and customization is a good thing okay and then if you go here you can sort them manually you can sort them by time and here's the things you can and you cannot include okay so Google Maps you can disable the lock screen view or the alerts view in the notifications center and you can do this for a lot of different apps here okay and then the next thing is of course the control center which you can swipe from the bottom up and then you get the airplane mode you get the Wi-Fi you get the Bluetooth you get the do not disturb toggle and you also get the screen uh, rotation lock button okay and here you get to set the brightness up and down you've got music player right here so you got play next track previous track the volume control and then you have the airdrop functionality here you can disable it from here you can do it for everyone contacts only and you can turn it off and then you can go to airplay and you can send what's going on on your iPhone to a high-definition TV using airplay airplay functionality as long as you have an Apple TV and then at the bottom here you've got a bunch of quick access apps so here's a here's a flashlight so if you tap that on the flashlight pops right open okay and then if you tap this you get the clock if you tap this you get the calculator and if you tap the camera you get the camera okay and in the camera you have four shooting modes you've got the video photo square which is like Instagram and you've got panoramic view what I like is you can swipe anywhere on the screen to switch between these modes now in the photo view and the square view as far as I know okay so the photo view and the square view allow you to add filters before you take a picture okay so you can preview live filters before you take a picture so let's see chrome filter okay and then you can take the picture and then again you can turn off the flash right here you can turn off you can also turn the HDR on and off right here on the top 
and that's pretty much what the camera is all about and it's very um simple yet very effective okay so it's a minimalist design but it's exactly what you would want and by the way with the with the uh, with the lock screen I'm sorry with the control center you also have some customizations you can do you can enable or disable access in the lock screen by tapping this so if I tap this and I go back to the lock screen I'm not going to have access to the um, control center. Okay, so let's turn that on. You can do the same with the apps. So if you don't want access to the to the control center in the apps, you can tap this to be off. Okay, on. And then in the iOS 6 beta 5 and beta 6, these icons here seem to have gotten colorful. So before this, they were all black and white and they were boring so this gives it a lot of life and I like this one better obviously okay and then let's take a look at the uh, the music app so if you go to the music app at the bottom here you can go to different sections so you got the radio you can listen to free music here this is the new iTunes radio and uh, let's tap this and it starts playing the the radio okay and then you can buy the song if you like it too much so go back Here's the albums that you have on your phone right now. So I put some some random music here just to show you guys what it looks like. And then you can also go to genres. You can go to more. You got playlists, you got songs, you got artists. Okay? So if you tap on Pitbull, all his songs pop right up. And if you play one of the songs, this is exactly what it looks like. Go to next. Okay, let's see what happens if you do this. All right. Pause. And then you can also rearrange the bottom part right here. So if you click edit, okay, you can drag and drop. So you can I can take the artists, put them in the front. Oop. Okay, so I guess you you grab it from here and you drag it at the bottom right there. Okay? So grab the albums put it right there, it's already in the second position you can grab the playlists and you can put it in the third position it went to the second right now but it's in the you can put it wherever you want so second third and then you can click done and done. now you have exactly the kind of layout that you're looking for artists, albums and playlists and of course you can add a new playlist and you can add songs to it Okay, so let's take a look at the calendar view real quick. So this is your new calendar. You can go and you can view this by a whole year. You can swipe between years just like this, 2016, 17, and then you can go into the month by tapping into it. You can go to the next month. You can tap on a day, and then you can add any event by clicking that plus symbol. All right, that's that's not bad at all. And then you got the clock app. Okay, you got the world clock, you got the alarm, you got the stopwatch, and you got the timer. Let's stop, reset, and then you got the timer right here, and the alarms right here. If you add one, let's save this, and there's your alarm. You can turn that off. Now let's go to the app store real quick. In the app store one thing I like is if you go to updates you don't have to do manual updates anymore everything gets updated automatically so if you look at August the 16 2013 Instagram was updated and if you tap this what's new option it tells you what was updated in fact same with Twitter so you get a lot of updates in the Twitter account and uh, if you go to featured here's your featured apps you can go to top charts to see what's hot, okay. Go to free. Go to top grossing, grossing, okay. And then let's take a look at the Maps app. And let's go to New York. Okay, so 3D. Zoom in.
and you can do the you can turn the fly overview on or off okay so as you can see the flyover is three dimensional off on and then you can tap this button right here to change it to standard view or you can do satellite view or you can do the hybrid all right okay so finally let let's take a look at safari browser okay so here's your safari browser and here is your tabs and you can add new tabs plus 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 and then you can rid get rid of tabs by swiping them away either side no, yes oh looks like you can only swipe them away to the left for now and then if you want to go to a website Google you can go to a website and of course you can share the website that you are viewing through any of these means all right so that brings us to the end of this video and I do have more way more coverage on the iOS 7 than this one so check out my playlist I put a link in the description below and you can watch many many more videos regarding some really specific features on the iOS 7 in my playlist well thanks for watching I'll see you the next time